Hey, Stephen. My name's Tony. I'm over here in Sarasota. Um, I reached out to your company a little bit earlier on Monday and spoke to Freddie and let him know that I wanted to shoot you guys over this uh, quick free video. What I wanted to do was go over a couple of tips on how you can increase your online presence in a way that will actually help you generate some additional business via your website. Um, I do this for free for small businesses. The only thing I ask is if you guys find anything of value, uh, just reply to the email and give me any feedback you might have. The video will only be about seven minutes long or so. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. What I want to do is compare your website to a couple of your main competitors and go over some of Google's main ranking factors. So what I'm going to do is go over here into Google. I'm going to look up uh, Roofing Jacksonville FL. I think this gets searched about 300 times a month or so in Jacksonville. We've got, of course, the Google Ads. Google's trying to make some money. I don't want to talk about those today. Below this, this is called the Map Pack. So about 70% of the search volume or so is going to call or click into one of these three um, listings. Uh, people just assume the top three are going to be the best roofers or whatever it is they're searching for in the area. I know that's not true. What they have figured out how to do, though, is to how to get to the top here. And the way that's done, one of the main ways, is through citations. So, so what citations are, are your company name, um, address, and phone number out on directory sites around the web. These are sites like yellowpages.com, Yelp, Angie's List, Thumbtack, sites like that. There's about 400 of these things. Do a simple Google search for citation website. You'll get a, a list a mile long. Add your company to 10 to 20 of those uh, per week for a few weeks, and you're going to start seeing over time your direct, um, Google My Business listing starts creeping up um, in rank here. Just make sure you're consistent with the way you're inputting that data. Consistency is key. So below here is called the organic listings. These are more affected by backlinks. And what backlinks are are just your company's website URL in a clickable format out on a website um, other than yours. Um, not all backlinks are created equal. You want to really try to get backlinks from trusted websites. And if you can, niche relevant websites like maybe a uh, home improvement website or a home improvement blog. You could even go as far as giving um, an article that you wrote over to a blogger. And uh, oftentimes, because they want to keep their sites active, they'll give you a link back to your website from theirs, which is a backlink um, in, as a trade for uh, blog content. So that's one idea. So we've got citations, we've got backlinks. The next thing I want to go over is content. So I'm going to open up um, Prime Roofing. They're the number one in the search for this keyword. And then the next one that's an actual roofer is going to be Reliant. So content is just the words and images on your homepage here. We suggest 1,500 to 2,000 words of content um, for two reasons. One, Google really likes well-written authoritative content. It gives their end users the best experience possible, and those are the kind of sites they like to serve up. Two, it lets you get the keywords in um, on your homepage that people are searching for. For example, this roofing keyword. If I go here and do a control F and look for this on your website, I don't see it. Um, I don't see roofing Jacksonville. There's roofing and there's Jacksonville, but is there, you know, roofer, there's Jacksonville. These are the type of keywords that people search for, so I'm not seeing those. I would copy and see how much content you have, but your, your website designer, who's done a great job, by the way, this is a nice looking site. They've got, uh, they've got some, uh, an add-in or a plug-in that's keeping me from being able to copy. So Reliant was uh, like in fifth place, and they have about 790 words, so they'd be easy to beat. And then Prime, who was in first place, that's not right. Come on. they have right around 700 as well. So if you were to get even 1500 words, or if you have 1500 words, you're beating them. Um, and that's great. But, uh, some of the keywords may uh, need to be added to your homepage. So I'm going to take primes URL here and put it into this AREFS product. What this product does is give us an estimation of what Google knows about a website. So Google sees these guys as having 629 other websites pointing to them. They're being found for about 4,100 keywords, and that's getting them approximately 200 or 2,000 clicks a month. Um, if we go into these keywords, a lot of the keywords, that, that 4,100 clicks is just not right. Roofers in my area 
there's 2,800. This is a, a, a you know, national keyword, not a local keyword. They're in first place for that. They're not getting all of those searches. The type of uh, keywords we're looking for is like this one, which is the one I searched for. Sorry, uh, roofers, roofing, Jacksonville, Florida, 300 searches. They're in second place. They're getting 31 clicks. So niche city, these are the kind of keywords we're looking for. Um, so say these guys, I mean, they're probably getting found for a couple of hundred. Say they're getting found for 200 of these kind of searches, um, or they're getting that many clicks, 200, and they're closing 10% of them. That's about 20 new sites, I'm sorry, new roofs a month. That's not bad. I'd take that all day long for uh, free traffic. Now let's compare that to yours. We're looking at 313 sites pointing to, um, to you. 840 keywords for 173 clicks. And if we look at what you're being found for, um, this is the company name. And when I look through here earlier, I just did a quick peek. I didn't see any of the niche and then city um, type keywords. I call them buyer intent keywords, meaning when somebody searches roofing Jacksonville, Florida, they're looking for a roofer. They just don't know which roofer. So you want to be in the top three because chances are if you're in the top three, you're going to be found for those or you're going to get called, I should say. So it shows you we're getting 173 traffic, but it's just not for those buyer intent type keywords. So that's why I say um, get some of those keywords interwoven into your home page and uh, you will do yourself a lot better uh, as far as getting some some actual organic traffic that you want. So hopefully this has been useful. And if so, again, a reply to the email with any feedback would be welcome. Um, hopefully I gave you some tools to help yourself out. But if not, this is obviously what I do for a living. So if you are wanting to look into this a little bit more for your website and, uh, you know, boost your online presence, I'd be more than happy to talk with you and see if I could be of assistance. Um, but even if not, I hope you found this useful. So with that, I will let you go. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you for listening and watching if you have. And have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.